So in our third step, we want to actually do the problem. We want to uh, plug in numbers, the, do the detailed steps, do the algebra and so on. So now we're going to do the number crunching. In the first part of the problem, it is asking for radiative heat flux from the infant body. This is not net. It is not net, uh, but it is simply radiative heat flux, like the, the most simplest definition. So radiative heat flux, because it's a black body, we already have been uh, told that the emissivity is equal to 1. So radiative heat transfer is simply sigma raised to the power t. Again, t is in absolute temperature. This is the baby surface temperature and um, plus 273. So that gives me this much heat uh, flux from the body. You can see this is a lot of heat. So baby obviously cannot afford to just lose all this heat. So this is part two. Here we're going to calculate the net radiative heat flux from the uh, heater to the infant. N notice the word net. That means we're not just calculating how much is coming from the, um, the heater to the infant, but the net amount because the infant also giving some of the energy back to the, radi uh, the heater surface. So it's the net effect of these, these two uh, quantities. So what is given is this net amount, uh, the flux Q double prime from surface one to surface two is equal to, uh, should be equal to 200 watts per meter square. What we do not know is what is the distance. So we can change the distance to make it 200, and that's the goal. And so in terms of which formula to use, so we already have discussed that this is between two uh, radiative exchange surfaces. So it's the radiative exchange formula. And so that is this Q double prime, 1 to 2 times A2. So this is the net amount uh, from 1 to 2. And that is this, when I plug in for Q double prime, is equal to, it's made up of two things, as I said. One is how much is energy uh, going out minus what is coming back in. If you simplify this, and we have done this in class, uh, this is equal to A1 F12 sigma T1 to the 4 minus T2 to the 4. Now, using the reciprocity relation, um, A1 F12 is equal to A2 F21. So I can write A1 F12 to A2 F21. Why did I suddenly do this step? It, I could have left it A1, F1, 2, and things will work just fine. But you notice on this side, there is a A2. So if I write in terms of A2 here, that A2 cancels out, and so we have a more compact expression. That is the only reason. Okay, so the next thing is we need to find what is F21. So what we have been given is view factor which is f2 which is what f21 is a view factor between two parallel plates uh, where the midlines are connected uh, by a perpendicular meaning these are infinite parallel plates and and this is the midline which is the appropriate one for for this case uh, because that's what we are approximating it to so if i call this surface as 1 and this surface as 2, then I can write the view factor F21 is equal to, uh, just like here, W2, capital W2 is made up of 
W2 is made up of small W2 over L. W1 is made up of small W1 over L, where W2 is is this distance. So this is equal to 0.15 meter, and this W1 is equal to 0.3 meters. Okay. So I can write F21 as equal to W1. Uh, F21, sorry, you, you can notice this is in terms of IJ. So if it is IJ, then this is I. So for F21, it will be W2 over L plus W1 over L square plus 4 and so on. So when you plug everything in, this W1 is known, W2 is known. The only unknown in F is going to be L. So continuing on that part, the same equation, then we plug in all the values, okay, just like I was saying, and as I said that for F, then the only unknown is going to be L times sigma T1, T1 is the heater surface, notice this is absolute temperature, um, always in radiation we use absolute temperature and uh, this is the baby surface temperature given so everything here everything is in terms of um, the only unknown L as you can see here so from there we can find out what is L if you calculate this one through iteration we can find L as equal to 0 0.315 meter or is equal to 31.5 centimeter okay so these are, these are the last three parts which are kind of easy uh, parts three to five so part three says what is the convective heat flux from the body the convective heat flux from the body means if the body is surface 2, so it's two, two surroundings. And surroundings we often denote by infinity. So it's 2 to infinity. So if I write H times T2 minus T infinity, then it's going from 2 to infinity, which means it's going out which means it's the right quantity because we want from the body. So if I plug in the values, I get 60 watts per meter square, which is a, a smaller uh, than radiation. Um, okay. And, and then the four, uh, uh, the part four has to do with net heat flux. So you notice that this is not net radiative heat flux, but net heat flux. We have radiation and convection. So we can do net heat flux this way. What is the net amount due to radiation, which we already know, it's 200 watts per. And then flux due to convection. Notice this is, the sense of this is also net because this is the convection heat transfer is only happening from 2 to infinity. So that is like the net amount. So if I, uh, if I subtract that, and why am I subtracting it? Because the 200 watts per meter square is into, into the infant. Okay? Whereas this 60 watts per meter square is away from the infant because it says two to surrounding. So if I subtract them, then I get 140 watts per meter square. Then the last part, it says what important mode of heat transfer is ignored here. Of course, you can guess that evaporation is ignored here, which is um, a very significant component or can be a very significant component. 